I heard about a high school in Chicago where students had to pass a certain number of courses to graduate, and if they didn't pass a course, they got the grade not yet. And I thought that was fantastic because if you get a failing grade, you think I'm nothing, I'm nowhere. But if you get the grade not yet, you understand that you're on a learning curve. They had what I call a growth mindset. From their more fixed mindset perspective, their intelligence had been up for judgment, and they failed. Are we raising kids who are obsessed with getting A's? That has failed. Their effort, their strategies, their focus, their perseverance, their improvement—just the words "yet" or "not yet" we're finding give kids. Greater confidence, give them a path into the future that creates greater persistence. So let's talk about equality. But when educators create growth mindset classrooms steeped in yet, equality happens, and that district included affluent sections of Seattle. Before, effort and difficulty made them feel dumb, made them feel like giving up. That's when they're getting smarter, and that's why I decided to put it into practice. Because once we know that abilities are capable of such growth. It becomes a basic human right for children, all children, to live in places that create that growth.